ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I proudly present to you, for your listening pleasure, We Heart Music Radio. Brought to you by the good people at WeHeartMusic.com. I wasn't as comfortable, so I started thinking to myself, this isn't as good as Spartacus. Because in Spartacus I was taken care of, I had eight days to film every two weeks, I was busy all the time. Oh, no, I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed Spartacus more, and I started thinking that. And it started to affect the way that I was looking at this wonderful, wonderful character called Slade Lawson, Deathstroke. And luckily, I registered that I was starting to think like that. And I thought, you can't be like that. This role is the next step. It's the next progression. Everything else is in the past. Today's got to be the day. Seize it. And so I, I had to suck up and get all my fortitude to make sure this role wouldn't be the role where I started to relax. And so I didn't. And I hit Slade as hard as I could. Even though I was feeling lonely in a foreign country, even though I felt like my workload wasn't as big as the other workloads, I had to learn that lesson through Slade Wilson and Deathstroke. And you know what, it's a lesson that, I, that I've, I've learned. <laughs> and so therefore, if I had to say what's my favorite, yeah, right now, right now, knowing that I've got to keep on becoming better, enjoying every role, you know? And I mean, it's, it's the truth, kid, you know? The next time you say that line, Slade Wilson, you know, you just became a superstar just then. <laughs> but to be the superstar again, kid, you gotta do that again. And the next time you do it, you gotta do it better. Otherwise you'll never top that one incredible little moment you just did. And you can, kid. And you remember that, you'll just keep on going and going, yeah. Anyway, I hope that answers your question. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Um, So, I'm so busy all the time and going everywhere, but I do tell everyone how much fun we had, and I didn't tell everyone that he just drives like like hours and hours away just to eat pancakes one day. And, and I asked him, Tombstone, or wherever you are. Who sent all those gun pictures? Johnny, did he? The... Yeah, Johnny sent some of them. I sent some of them too. We, we were all kind of scattered about. Dude, those were cool. We looked like gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Guns on us, and that's that should be illegal. Then. It should be illegal. 
Yeah. yeah. Hey, TMZ, TMZ didn't jump on us back then because no one even knew who we were. Well, they did, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> something like that. It was something like that. Well, hey, hey, I just wanted to call and send the love, and I'm hoping we can do a show together. And I'd love to do one with uh, me, you, and Johnny. I think would happen. But you guys just don't make up stories about me, all right? Because I try to keep a clean image. And if we don't make up stories about you, what can we do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. The joy of doing panels, picking stuff up with our table, like that's all we do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, buddy. Say bye to everybody. Say bye, Darby. <laughs> and when I find her, I shall marry her. Yeah. <laughs> There's two of them. I shall marry both of them. Yeah. <laughs> applause. Applause. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>